what we've developed is a number of classifications for the way that bullets look as we remove them to help us kind of understand what's going on. Now, for most types of armor, um, in an ideal world, we're looking for this. We, call, we classify this as a pancake. This is a round that is just flattened out like a pancake. It's pretty much intact, so it gets caught up in a lot of fibers, um, and it's just nice and thin. It's, this is an ideal, or what could be um, a kind of a combination of two things. We can also end up with fragments, which are just little pieces. Uh, we can end up with frag pancakes, which are pancakes with pieces broken off. Those are two ideals. This one, uh, not good, but not terrible. This would be a cone. Um, this still has a lot of its mass throughout its body and has a kind of pointed shape to it. Um, this is probably the most common, the most common thing to see, um, but we like to engineer to get away from this. Um, this, typically when you see a cone, will have a bit higher of a BFD um, than you might expect. Um, and it's just because of that, that mass is there and it's, be able, it's able to penetrate more through that armor. I mean, you can kind of... So is this, this is something that got stopped on the first or second layer. It hit the armor and just it does, It's not smashed. always necessarily the layer. It's, uh, it's, it, it can, you can end up with a pancake that's deeper into a panel. Um, it just, it's just kind of how, how many layers it penetrates and then how quickly it opens up. So this is opening up very quickly. This one is not opening up much at all. And those are the same rounds? Same rounds. And the same rounds. These are all 44 the, mag. Can you hand me one of those, one of the unshot ones? Yeah. So, so that's, that was that's all this. that. Yes. Um, this we call a pan cone. This is not quite flattened out and it doesn't have the amount of mass that a cone would, the, the thickness at the edge. This has opened up a bit more um, and, is, and is flatter. Uh, you can just, we just kind of classify it as that. So we'd right, like to see pancakes or fragments followed by pancakes then a pan cone. Um, this one is a bowl. Um, it is very similar to a, um, it's kind of between a cone and a pan cone. Um, it really is, has lost most of its mass and it has very thin edges and it just kind of really comes up at the edges like a bowl. I mean, most of these aren't really, uh, yeah. you know, they're, they're very, <laughs> they're very <laughs> simple names uh, to explain. So kind of in the order that we'd like to see them would be a pancake follow, you know, or it, the pancake would be an ideal or fragments, just pieces. Uh, second, we'd like to see a pancake, um, a pan cone is still solid. Now when we're starting to get into um, uh, bowls, we're starting to see what we can do to avoid them. When we're seeing cones, we're starting to experience high BFDs. We want to engineer our way back. And something that would be, I don't even think we have an example of it. Finding something that is like this more intact, uh, yeah. really kind of still has its bullet shape and all of its mass. Um, that's when you, we'd start to really be concerned. Um, you can kind of see based on all these as well, how these rounds, how they've lost some mass as well. So a typical 44 mag round is about 240 grains. So it's 239.8. And if we start going into these remnants, oh, it's pretty, that one's pretty close where a pancake maintains most of its mass. Actually, all these probably maintain most of their mass. This probably isn't a good example. Well, that one lost its jacket. That one lost its jacket. These will probably be closer to the 240 where everything is still there. And this one is probably going to be nearly 240 on the dot. See? Um, now, when we start looking, you know, we can't really save pieces that are just a bunch of fragments. Maybe we'll find yeah. some in here. So I can start looking at this one. So this shot one is a frag pancake. So all that's left of this are little bits of it and a very flat center portion. What remains? It's about 160 grams. So that's that's lost more than half its weight. And, and your jacket came off on oh, the first layer. Yes. You separated out. Yeah, and the jacket's there. Yeah, so that's kind of out on its own, which also isn't all that much mass. But yeah, that was separated from it itself because all those fragments just, just broke off. So that's a good example of a frag pancake. All right, so that's shot one. Shot two is halfway into a panel. Was this our highest BFD one? 36.8, yes. This was our highest BFD. And you can kind of see, they're not easy to get out. 
no, that has been a problem before for me. This one, this is a frag. I mean, that's a frag, frag pan cone. So see, this one didn't fragment nearly as much. It didn't open up as much. It has a little bit of a rolled bit to it and kind of has that pointed shape, which is why I was thinking it probably was the one with the higher BFD, which it was. Um, but we're talking about very, very small differences here. Uh, we're not talking like all of its mass still being there. So these are, these are all 44 mag is what we're talking about here, yeah. which is probably where, that's probably where you start with development. Yes. Do you get, what do you see differently when you start using like ball nine millimeter or ball 45 ACP? You ever get into uh, something and you're like, wow, totally, I didn't expect that. To be totally honest with you, uh, we've never had an armor that was working with 44 mag that had any issues with anything else. But what I mean is, what do you see that's, that's do you see it? different shapes coming out? Like yeah, the, so that's, we usually find that to be the uh, the round analysis is really most effective on the 44 mag because it, it isn't full, fully jacketed. Uh, so you get to see all these different shapes. We're looking at something that has a full jacket. The, the shapes look more like kind of mushrooms. They can still flatten out like a pancake, but it's less common. Really, we find this to be most helpful during development with 44 mag. We, we develop with 44 mag and then look at other things to make mm -hmm. sure that it works, but we, you never really have to develop with the lesser threat. Yeah, you don't. You never have to worry about the lesser threat. No. If it's stopping this, it's, no. it's in all likelihood going to stop everything yeah. that's smaller. I mean, we still go through all of it afterward, but development. Because you never know. No, yeah, of course, yeah, it, absolutely. Developing yeah. something, and you, you have to test everything. So even though you know we're de we're developing with 44 mag, and it should absolutely be good, we still go through a whole slew of testing with the lesser threats. Uh, it's just for us, we've never run into anything where that was a concern. That's been your free field training for today. While you're here, uh, check out one of the other videos that we made or down here, subscribe so you can see more. Or you could check out Patreon where you can see how you can get your name put on the videos like all these fine folks over here. I'll see you guys next time.